YouTubers, uh, Farm Boy Reef here, and I have my brother Josh from uh, Nash Creek Farms. Hey guys. So he picked up a drone for the farm. Um, he picked up the Blade 350Q X3 uh, blade. It's a really good drone. Um, the reason why he picked up this drone is so we can uh, check our fields. Um, what are some of the reasons for checking our fields? Well, for wet areas and for weedy areas. So wet and weedy areas, because yeah. you don't want to have any wet areas uh, in your fields. Like when you're planting, you don't want to mud in all your uh, your seed while you're planting, and it's not good for all the machines. So today we're going to show you what's in the box, what it takes to program it, um, what all, all the other features you can do. So with this uh, with this Blade 350, you can hook a GoPro camera to it. So he end up he got a GoPro. Would you get a GoPro Hero 4? Black edition. Black yeah. edition. Yeah. So it has a gimbal, so you can uh, hook on your uh, your camera. So to hook on your camera, there's a little gimbal. So this is his GoPro we got. He got the Hero 4, uh, what was it? Black so, Edition. Black Edition. Yeah. So this will hook on the on the drone. And the best thing about the the, the new Wi-Fi capability is you can uh, you can watch uh, live feed through your, any of your like iPad or Android devices. You can watch uh, live modes while it's uh, flying around the air, in the air. You can watch it. So while he's flying it, he can see directly uh, aerial view of the area. So. When he's planting or whatever, he could, we could have the drone following him in the fields and we can watch. So that's a really great feature with this, eh? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to unbox this and show you guys what's in the box and how we end up hooking the GoPro to it and how you download the app to your uh, any Android or uh, iOS device. So we're going to open this box now so and check gonna it out. We're going to open guys. up the box, the Blade uh, 350 QX3. So this is what all the, all the, the stuff that comes in the box. So you got all your instruction manuals. So here's the here's the drone itself. Pretty sweet drone. Check that puppy out. It comes with everything you need. You come with your remote, your batteries. That's great with this. The a couple of the features on this, it had the GPS, is that you pick a point where wherever you start your drone off and takes off, you know, if you lose any of uh, control of it, it'll actually come back and pinpoint that same spot with the GPS that you're at. So this is this is the mount right here, if you look at it. That's the mount for the GoPro. Just like your GoPro uh, hookups, you just put the pin in there and you're good to go. So that's where we're gonna hook up the, the GoPro. So this is this is it guys, pretty sweet drone, eh? Let's uh, do a little aerial view on it. It's pretty sweet. Uh, so this is uh, the remote that comes in the box. That's pretty sweet. So we got that, and it comes with uh, extra. What else is it? Props. Comes with, comes with extra props in case yeah, you need four, them. Four props. Yeah. And it comes with the the battery as well. Yeah. What else does it come with? It's a, what kind of batteries does it take? It's a three cell, uh, three thousand milliamp. Yeah, that's a pretty nice battery. Yeah. They're not cheap, are they? No. What's the no. price tag on one of them? Asylum, not exactly sure. Okay. Sixty bucks, maybe. Sixty bucks. And then what's this? This is the this is the package. It's got the mount here for the GoPro yep. that you slide your GoPro in. We'll take that out of the package and check that out. So uh, this this is the mount. So you put your GoPro in this, and then hooks to the bottom of the drone. So Josh is going to show us how it all goes together here. So he's putting his GoPro nice. in the holder. Like so. Like so. Like that. Yep. So it's just like any GoPro hookup. So he's flipping over his drone. You want me to hold your drone for you? Sure. Okay. Make it a little easier. Yep. Go through this side here. So he's just screwing in. There's a nut on the other side. So it hooks the attachment. Make sure it's on there really well. Like so. Yep. All right. So we're gonna flip the drone over. So you want to do yep. shot on it here. So there. See so if you look at that. So the GoPro is hooked to the bottom. So Josh, you want to turn the drone towards us so you can see sure. front view of the how the GoPro hooks onto it. There you go. So that's how the hook the GoPro hooks on the bottom of the the drone. Yep. All right. So a few things we got to do now is uh, so we got to download uh, the app onto the iPad so we can watch right from the GoPro. So while he's flying it, the aerial views. And the other thing you have to do to the GPS on the drones, we have to uh, find what true north is and we have to spin it. So we're gonna show you guys that process because it needs to know true north so it always knows its GPS location. So that's the next process we're gonna do over the grass. So right now, Josh, he's gonna, he's gonna put the battery in it. So you just open the back. It has like little instructions for you. It shows you how to plug everything to go. It's all plug and play pretty much. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna insert the battery. 
in there nicely. Yeah. So you're just going to tuck the wires in there nicely. So he just turned on his remote. Is there any chances of the, the, the props or anything hitting you in the hands or anything? Nope. It's got a safe mode on it? Yep. Oh, that's good. Got built-in safe. safe. It's all safe. You don't want to get all cut up. Like that. Just going to anywhere. Perfect. You got her hooked up. So he's got all the wires there all hooked up there now. Let's just make sure everything's nice and neat. Perfect. All right, there we go. So the next thing we have to do, we have to follow these instructions here. This is where we have to get the true north. We have to do all these. It's like a sphere. You almost got to, you got to twist it in every direction and then uh, to make sure it has its location to come back where it needs to be. So this is one of the hardest parts to set up. So I'm just going to pull up my compass and find true north. And then we have to do all these, uh, all these turns from A to D. So that's our next part we're gonna do right so now. So I got guys. my iPad out. So I'm just gonna use the compass on the iPad. So we have to find true north. So we end up, we're just gonna, I'm gonna move this until it turns to the big N. So let's just make sure. All right, so there we go. So there's true north. So now we're gonna have to do all these fancy moves to get this uh, thing programmed. All right guys, so we got the we got the drone, the QX3 blade. We got her all fired up right now. You can see all the little LEDs on it. Yeah. Okay, so we have to read. So we have to read through the instructions. All right, it says now power on the transmitter and the 350 QX3 and face the quad pointing north. So we did that. Okay, it says uh, cycle the top left transmitter switch completely four times, shown on the right. So Josh is doing that right now. Okay, the 350Q has entered the compass calibration mode by flashing the LEDs orange. So it's flashing orange, guys. This is a, now complete all four rotations. Showing the illustrations be, uh, below within 30 seconds, rotating the quad clockers 45 degrees between each rotation. Hold the quad level facing north and check the LED. Green is ready, red, repeat. Time's ticking. <laughs> okay, so what was it again? So forward. Forward all the way north. 45 it, 45, like that, great, yep. that's it, green, wow. you get the green, yeah. okay, green. so we got green guys, yeah, is that it, yep. yeah, all right, so we got the green, green means ready, all right guys, so the drone, we got a program, is easier than we thought, so that went really well, all right guys, so we did all the instructions, we seen it turn green, I'll just show you guys, so the LED on the back means it's programmed, it's green, it's good to go. So we got, it's got other cool little LEDs on there as well. And this is the antenna. So now that we used our compass, we got it all programmed north. Uh, we're gonna just reattach the GoPro and we're gonna, we're gonna try to fly this puppy. And then we're gonna watch it on the, on the iPad and see where it takes us. So you ready to do this, Josh? Yep. All right, so we're gonna reattach the GoPro. Still GoPro. All right, guys, so I downloaded the, the GoPro app for the iPad. So if you can see myself on here right now, you can see me because Josh has got the, the drone on me right now. So you guys see that? Okay, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, so he's got the drone. It's all lit up there right now. I'll show you guys. This is what you can see right now. You can see, uh, you can see a little bit of the props and the grass right now. So he's going to try to be taken off. So I got to go beside him and show him how it's taken off. I got, so I got on the iPad right now, I got it on record so he can see everything after we do a replay. First time flying this drone, so he's doing pretty good. He flies other, uh, he flies planes and other helicopters. This is his first drone. He got it on a good angle there. You can, you can actually see us. Hold, hold the 
and steady. There's Landon going to get attacked by the drone. So he's just practicing different maneuvers right now, getting used to it. So he's only got a real like half throttle right now. This AP mode's pretty cool because now he can do whatever he wants with it. So this is definitely gonna be handy for checking out the fields. Can you bring her in close to us, Josh? Oh yeah. All right, let's see if you can bring her in. Pretty cool. I'm gonna come in close to it. That's pretty sweet. All right guys, so now he's gonna hit the button to return home. If there's ever an issue, lose control, or if you want to just probably just do an easy landing. So he's gonna hit the return home button. So let's watch it, let's see what happens. So he just flicked it right now. Not touching anything. See, he's not touching the remote. It's returning home. So that's the GPS that we set up on it. Look at that gentle. Perfect landing. That was a perfect landing. Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was our first flight uh, trying the, the Blade QX3 drone that we got here for Nash Creek Farms. So it was a pretty good flight. Uh, Josh's first time, he did really well. Easy to fly. Really easy to fly. Really easy, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, he flies a lot of different things like planes and helicopters and stuff too, so it really helps. And uh, you, can, you, you can download the, what is the program? You can do it simulator on any uh, computer. So you can use the simulator to practice flying before you actually get the, get the drone. So this, I think this is going to yeah. be a good uh, new addition, new tool uh, oh, yeah, for, awesome. for the farm. So check the fields and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, so that was hooked the Go the GoPro mount that you guys just seen live. So best thing with that because you can put it on any iOS device or Android and watch it live on your mm -hmm. on your iPad using through Wi-Fi. So that's the the video of today of unpacking and uh, flying the drone. Um, so that for Nash Creek Farms. So it's another uh, tool to use on the farm. Mm -hmm. So. So I hope you guys like this episode. There's going to be many more uh, videos coming with the drone. Uh, different applications we're going to use for in the field. We'll show you guys. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so uh, Farm Boy Reef here with uh, Nash Creek Farms. So we're going to move on to the next episode. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, please subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, please go over the go see the Nash Creek uh, Farms website as well. All right, thanks for coming out, Josh. Yeah, thank you. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.